Welcome to Satisfactory Update 6. My name is Nilaus and we are going to, well, in this episode, unlock the space elevator and move into tier 3, 4 with the first part of tier 3, 4 is always going to be coal power. So that is our objective for today. So we'll do a different kind of coal power that we've been doing before. And I try to make it as simple as possible and as scalable as possible. And I'll go through the ratios and all that stuff. And we'll try to make it a bit more aesthetic than we uh, usually do, or at least a sort of in an interesting location uh, this animation i absolutely love it and it is one of those uh, animations that are so much effort to put into an animation that most people will only see once in their playthrough now me of course i'll always see it twice in my playthrough because i will first place it and then i'll realize that it's one tile off and then i will pick it up and replace it again so i get to see this animation twice every really let's play so that's nice and you get to see it once more here it's brilliant love it so as soon as we have this, that is when we have our next tier available. And as you can also see, we are running with a nice blue and blue and red color color scheme right now. And uh, what you'll see is that during this let's play, colors will change. The reason why they change is because I'm also playing this on Twitch and over on Twitch there is an opportunity for people to select the colors and then they'll select the colors for a while until the next one. So I'm going to leave those colors in. That means we'll be you'll be able to see uh, you'll be able to see new colors here and there. Hopefully that'll maybe inspire you to uh, to check some other colors out instead of the boring default colors. There we go. We have now unlocked tier three four, and what we can do is that we can. Start working our way towards unlocking the coal because that is the most important thing. And so we can get rid of the, bur the burner miners. That is absolutely a thing. Coal power. Let's get it. Luckily we have all the things prepared. Hmm. What a coincidence. Smash that like button. There we go. That was the like button. Smash it. Milestone reached. Coal is yeah, 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 yeah. Coal. Right. I can explain coal better than the tutorial can. So what we're going to do is up here. This looks like a nice place. Having a coal power plant just overlooking uh, this starter factory seems like an absolutely brilliant idea. In terms of my overall base design, I want to make sure that I move this way because that's towards the Spire Coast. That means I am only allowed to move up and that way with my designs. I'm not allowed to move this way. I am going to bring stuff in here. So I'll have one consolidated mega base hive city around here. And that's the plan at least. We'll see how it works out. I want to, uh, to of course, have different factories for things, but I need to, I want to have them close by. So I'll have to figure out a way to bring all the stuff in with belts and trucks and trains and drones and whatever else into this uh, crazy mess. And I know it's not good for performance, but hey, we have a monster PC and uh, we'll probably rage quit before we even get to performance issues. It, the performance issues generally have been much better lately. So I don't really feel that that's a, that's a concern we need to do. So what do we want to do? Well, we need to uh, do some investigation now that we have coal. That means we need to scan for the closest coal deposits. <clears throat> it's a bit far away, but it's it's not that bad. I like it from this location. It's actually pretty easy to get. And there we go. We have it. And if we look at our map, you can see it down here. I've actually kind of marked it with that one. But we have it here. This is sort of the... It's also the one you get in the northern forest. This is... No, maybe you'll get this one up here for the North Forest. But it's a good uh, it's a good location for coal. It's where we sort of have this, this pit with four coal deposits. Two pure and two... No, no three pure and one normal. Nice. Uh, we're going to bring one pure in. We're going to talk a bit about uh, the ratios. But first, I want to go up here and find that. We also have a big problem. And that's where are we going to get water? Because I know that a lot of people have said about this this uh, that location aside from the fact that it's not super secret i don't care it's it's an it's not a prescribed location for starting and i like it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find some water hmm there's a bit of lush forest up here i wonder if that is an indication of water i managed to find some water lo and behold up here at the top of the plateau overlooking our little starter base we have little pond of water it's not a big water pond but it um, it's gonna be enough it's gonna be barely enough but it's gonna be enough we can uh, we can build stuff in here that is great if we look at it on the map just so you get an indication of it the great thing about this there are a number of great things about it uh, the main one is the fact that this is above our coal power plant so that means if you take water from here there is no pumping and that is absolutely glorious so uh 
without us having to do any kind of pumping for getting the water there. That is an absolute boon for our coal power plants. So the first thing we want to do when it comes to coal power plants uh, is to get a sense of ratios. And this is one of the most important things because I always feel that I'm going to be stuck between two different options. One is, what do you have currently? Currently, I only have belts. I only have tier two belts and they can transport 120. So if I go all the way out to that beacon and bring in one full belt in here, 120 coal, then we need to get sort of a, get a sense of our ratios here. Uh, I'll put it on the screen as well so it makes it easier. 120 coal, that's a tier two belt. Uh, and that will need 360 water. That'll be enough to feed eight power plants, coal power plants. Let's see if we can make one of these. Eight coal power plants. And eight coal power plants will do 600 megawatt of power. Then we get 600 megawatts. You're happy. You get some steel. You realize that you suddenly have 200, 270 items per minute belt, Mark three belts, and then you kind of regret doing it. So should you then build it for Mark two belts, Mark three belts, Mark four belts? What I'm going to do, since I'm going to assume that we are going to get, or I know that we're going to get Mark three belts really quickly. So I will be building it for Mark three and designing it for Mark three. That means I'm going to assume that we're getting 270 coal in per minute. Uh, coming all the way out here on a nice platform here, going straight in and feeding into 270 coal plus 810 water is equal to 18 power plants, and that's 1350 megawatt. Now, of course, you can also go up to tier four belts, but at that point, well, maybe, maybe not. Um, I am going to design it for design it for tier three belts, build it for tier one belt, tier two belts. Also actually build it to do. So what I need to do is very, very simply, uh, since we are talking about 810 water, that means I need three pipes because there can only be 100, uh, 300 in each pipe. So I need three pipes and that means I need a minimum of six water extractors. So six water extractors up in that little pond, that can be done. Drag it over here, get three belts of water in here. Do I have my water? They will be coming in at this location, at this location and at this location. Each of these water Pipes will then be able to feed six coal power plants. They can technically feel, feel a bit more, but they can't feel seven. So put it in here for six. That means I'm going to bring it over on the side and drag it down the line. I'll get the other two sort of running behind and then sort of merging in when needed. Let's start making what can only be described as the design. So I need to make, I want to get my coal and water out here on the front page, front page uh, here. That will be one location, and uh, if I get to a that one, one, two, three. This is the most important part. We place it. Are you kidding me? It almost uh, it says it works, but it doesn't. Uh, that's actually really lucky that I just happened to place it correctly. So we'll just mark this middle here because now I know where to place it think I should be this is the most important part about uh, the placement at least if uh, you do it like I do here and then this is not connected it looks like it's connected but it's not you have to drag it afterwards so what we have is this is basically the module we get water coming in on this pipe here it goes to here goes in Uh, see, it's on this one here, which means it. One, two, three, four. One, two, backwards. And in. So 300 comes in. It feeds into one, two. And where is the next one going to be built? I always consider co power plants to be one and a half tiles wide. So the next one will be built here. There's just enough room between them. That means. One is placed in the middle of a foundation, the next one is placed on the edge of a foundation, and then the next one will then be again on the middle of a foundation. Here. And yeah. Pretty easy to build once you look for those green blue lines. 
I've learned that if I call him green, then half the people will yell at me and call me colorblind. If I call him blue, the other half will yell at me and call me colorblind. So I'm, they're, they're just green, blue-ish. They're not green or blue, they're turquoise. Shut up already. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all we can do. But we can and we should probably make it down here for 18 just because. Now the water pipe will only reach for the first six. So I'm going to have to get another water pipe in for the next one. And then we can build that in for here. So that means we now have the design for the coal power plant. It is extremely simple here with the... Uh, with this input and output and that means we get we want to get it as close as possible because we want to be down here we want to see the, all the smokestacks so we don't want to hide the smokestack far in now obviously it would be better to have them turned around but then the smokestacks would be closer to the wall and i want it to be overlooking out here we can always do later on when we have some better uh, opportunities for aesthetics then we can take a look at, at different ways of doing it like this uh, that is definitely the prime. So let's, uh, that's the next part. And the next part, or the next part is going to look at water extractors. It's going to be an absolute nightmare to set up. So let's, uh, let's have a look at the water extractors, how we set that up and bring the pipes in here. This is how I set up my water extractors. One thing that you should be mindful of in, uh, in this release. And I, uh, I had this issue before and maybe you'll have it if you use this spot if you're building exactly like me is that uh, there was a a bit of a bug with these i uh, tweeted about it and uh, i will just show you on screen what happened after a while after i reloaded i saved and i reloaded then uh, i'll just show you uh, it it went from this into this that's obviously not going to work so i had to take them all out and place them again that was a uh, uh, not great but like, luckily, we, uh, that is why we play on experimental. It's all these fun challenges of suddenly having uh, 99, 999 nuclear waste, nice and pink, uh, coming out of your water extractors. Um, it, that's not what you can run coal power plants on, FYI. Here is a trick, and I would highly recommend it because it's absolute disaster to place uh, water extractors. So if you're not aware, you can actually place water extractors on foundations. So for example, here I built my foundations. I take it one down and then I have down here, you have to sort of be finicky about it. You have to figure out sort of at what height they want to build because if you build it, if I try to build it on, on this height, then it would just go like, no, there's no water. If you build it too far down, then it doesn't snap to, to the grid on the foundations. But if you build it just right, then it actually snaps to the foundation and registers that there's water and then you can build them nice and aligned look at that that is as close as possible that they can make the first the middle one i placed the middle one and then basically the place the other ones we can just see how well i i place it so when you're down here you can see it now goes in nice little increments here and that is just perfectly aligned it has nice green lines very very green lines yeah also maybe you noticed that the color scheme has changed because there's been a new hype train, so now we have uh, what can only be described as golf, golf oil colors. But hey, it is uh, it is the, the will of the will of the Twitch chat. Never argue with Twitch chat; you will not get anything out of it. And then it hooked up, and we'll just need to get some power. So each of these will produce 120, 120 water uh, times two, because I'm linking two of them together. So that is 240, and I need each pipe to produce. 270 so i need to have one of those speed speeding up with a yeah get it up to technically you just need 150 but then you are sort of balancing on the edge teetering on the edge even but i'll just do it like this get 150 percent you need 125 percent uh, to be exact but uh, i like to have it a bit more than exact so that we have some leeway well, we're going to take these three pipes. Obviously, we're only going to be using one and a third of the pipe for our current build. But that's a, a good start. We bring it all the way over here. We turn it. <clears throat> and then at this point, I don't have my uh, my uh, pipe segments, pipe attachments, wall attachments. So I can't build it here. Uh, we just have to go a bit further. So we're going to bring it in here into the pipes. Look at that. I like that color. This is a nice color. And we're going to bring it in here. We'll bring it out on the side. And then go. Put it here. So let's 
put that in here. And what we also need to do is then we need to go all the way over to this location to get the coal. Once we get the coal in, everyone sh everything should be happy. So let's go find the coal. We have now found our way to the coal. And if we look at it on the map, it's out here. If we scan for the coal, we get some pings here. One, two, three, four locations. What I will do is I've just brought a single one, but when we need to do some steel, we'll be bringing two more in. So we'll bring three lines here, two for steel and one for for the power plant. That's what we're going to do at this point. So basically we do it here. We bring it up on a pipe or sorry, bring it up on a skywalk. Yeah, um, this I'm happy about the automatic healing because we are going to take a bit of damage running back home. This one, it's obviously stuck because it's waiting for us to do something. So we bring it all the way over here. We can see back at our elevator and we can say our coal power plant and might want to go down here. Yep, it's a bit um, toxic this way. It's it's a just a bit toxic, not like, like a lot of toxic. It's about sort of YouTube comment section toxic level, not Twitch chat toxic level, but you know, like mildly toxic. See, see if I can trigger any comments from that. And here we have the glorious power plant. Now, obviously, you are going to look at it and go like, ew, ew, ew. But that ew, ew, ew. Yeah, that's fine. Well, it'll be better. It'll be better. We don't have any tools for beautification at this point, And we will. So there will be gradual sort of uh, moments of beautification here and there. And uh, they'll be better. They'll be better. Don't worry. We'll do what we can to try to... Oh, okay, I thought I've dropped it off. And we also have now the attachment here. So that's the... I look like this and we are going to go all the way over to our coal power plant and all we need to do is hook in the last segment from here to here and with that segment done we can see the first coal coming in uh, our power situation at the current moment is not great well it is kind of okay we have a 540 biomass burners down here but they will be running out um yeah, no power. They'll be they'll be definitely be running out soon. Uh, so it's a matter of, of getting this onboarded as fast as possible. And we start seeing the spikes here. Now, there are a few things. The thing is, we're going to get this in at 120. This here will consume 120 exactly. Because I only hooked it up to the first eight of them. I built it for all of it. But the, the coal pipe or the coal belt is stopped here, you can see. So it's only hooking up for the first eight. The water is coming in and the water will be going. Oh man, it's so hard to navigate without flying. Here, that's the first six. And then I get another one of the more pipe in and go into the next six. And then the other pipe comes in for the last six. Then uh, if you just leave it as it is, then the last ones here, you can see they will be starting up because they get one coal and they won't get a coal. So they switch off and they'll start up and they'll fall down. They'll start up and they'll fall down. And it's going to be just unreliable. And at some point there'll be one coal coming down in here and then it'll start up. There we go. There'll be one coal coming in. It's going to take a long time before it even saturates. And it doesn't even saturate perfectly. The last one will be kind of flickering on and off. So my recommendation for this is to simply turn them off and turn them on again. So if you didn't know already, I used to work in IT. When when your default answer is turn them on and turn them back on again, you know you have a background in IT. Basically what I mean is, if you turn these off, they will still accumulate in here, but they won't consume anything. So they fill up to 100, and then you fill up all of them up to 100 until the belt is saturating everything and is stalled. Then you switch them back on because then there will be consuming one, getting a new one in, consuming one, getting a new one in, and it'll be saturated instead of having all this. So that's kind of the, the recommendation I would do so you don't have this flickering on and off all the time. Then we get another spike in here. Good. Right. So that is, I don't think I need to do any more in terms of, uh, of explaining how to do a coal power plant because coal power is, it's something we all have to do. And uh, I think this is kind of my default way. Build it for 120 and then but design it for 270 so that when we get to 270 all i need to do now is upgrade the rather long pipe i built out out here put some get a mark 2 miner put a um, 
put a power shot in there so we get up to 270 upgrade the belt we don't need to do anything about the pipes because they're already set and then going all the way down here then hook up all the belts all the way to the end and then we suddenly go from 600 to 1200 to 1350 power super amazing i hope that you uh, found this useful entertaining uh, engaging or, or whatever informative maybe what we uh, are going to do next is actually of course now that we have power sort of breath of fresh air we'd have <laughs> breath of cold fresh air then uh, we don't have to worry about power for a bit and that means we can then start working on the next most important things which will obviously be pipes steel pipes and steel beams which is something we're going to do we're going to do some kind of tower here and we're going to get the iron from out here and coal from there and then sort of consolidate it here so it's nearby the rest of it then we will be working on making a central hub because i want to make a central hub early because what i always tend to do is sort of forget that i built different locations and then when i need some pipes then i have to go to the pipe factory and then i need some beams and i go to the beam factory and then i need some modular frames and i go to a modular frame factory and it's just not very practical so instead i i want to make sure that we really early make a location that will take all of the products from all the factories in there put them in the box throw the rest into the awesome sink so that all factories everywhere will always be running because they will be feeding into uh, into the the hub that will then also just vent or the rest of it that is the plan so kind of like this but a bit more structured way so that will be some of the upcoming episodes i will be continuing to make two youtube episodes every week monday and friday that is the plan uh, i will probably be skipping uh, <coughs> skipping a week or so uh, upcoming because i have some vacation so uh, if you don't see it don't lose faith but just check back a week later and there will be something or even better you could also subscribe to the channel then there's more likely that youtube will be uh, recommending the videos to you so you, you could consider subscribing that would be a, a solution what you can also do is come by on my twitch channel uh, i am streaming this tuesday thursdays and sundays as you can see on the screen maybe you've noticed over on the right hand side tuesday thursdays and sundays at twitch tv slash needles at 8 p.m central european time summer time and of course obviously you can also support me on patreon if you uh, like what you see and want to uh, chip into the ongoing operations of the channel Thank you very much everyone for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check the comment section below because there will be some uh, some diagrams. If you didn't quite get how to do the co the call, then Besterman has made awesome diagrams and they are available. So big thanks to him for doing that. Thanks everyone for watching, until next time, take care and as always, stay effective. <laughs>